god. That, I mean, I don't, uh, just, let's just look at it for a couple seconds. Perfect. Oh, hello. So, I got something in the mail yesterday that made me a very, very happy person. And I wanted to share it with you. Because it's the most wonderful time of the year, or something like that, right? That was supposed to... So today's video is going to be a Hayabusa gear haul. And let me tell you, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Cool stuff that will make you feel emotions inside, like... Like happiness and joy and then some things like jealousy maybe or like uh, maybe oh elation oh I didn't know they had elation in here that's interesting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this stuff up we're gonna give it a little miniature quick review for everything in here and then there's a couple things in here that are gonna get a bigger review later but uh yeah let's do this Now here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna reach into my Hayabusa Santa box of goodies. I'm gonna pick one thing and then we're gonna review that one thing. Oh, nice. Uh, silica gels. Now, don't eat these. That was it, that was it for the silica gel. Okay, so, so first things first, for all you little nasties out there, glove deodorizers. These are a go-to. I didn't actually know what these were. Like, like you know what glove deodorizers are. You know that they're supposed to de-stink your gloves or, or keep your gloves from stinking in the first place. They're little beans, little bitty beans. I, I assume they act just like the silica gels where they like to soak up moisture, which I need. So this will be the part of the video with the other gear where I take it to the gym and I test it out. But these just sort of dry up moisture. So here's just essentially me doing the same thing. Okay, thing number two. Is a white belt. Um, I'm not sure what I would need a white belt for. Let's, moving on. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I didn't even know they had this in stock. This is... Okay. So let's take a look at this real quick. It's so shiny. It's very like a uh, holographic Pokemon. You know what I mean? That's the second Pokemon reference I've made in two videos. Anyway, 60-40 blend though. So it's like just enough stretchy and just enough soft. I'm gonna put this on right now. I kind of have to. <sighs> yeah, no, it looks good. I like this. Thing number three is... <sighs> I've looked at these already and I'm not gonna lie pretty hyped about them because you guys know how much I love my shorty shorts and boy are these shorts shorty I've already owned a pair of like the hex uh, brand I didn't get the ones that were this short before and I love this color too so some of the fine little details that these shorts have these little rubber things right here stick but not rub what they do is when you put them on it like hugs your waistband because it sticks to it and then they have like the dual string, so as you pull it, it goes against each other, which makes it tighter and stick longer. In case you're wondering, especially if you're like a bigger guy, tuck the shirt in. It gives you like the appearance of a wider set shoulders and smaller hips, trust me. Okay, so, they feel great. I'm gonna go like a little more Muay Thai. All right, the kick height test. Fighting with somebody up in the clinch, I gotta kick him in the head. Yes. Okay, so we can do that. That works. They feel good. They're super stretchy everywhere. They look like they wouldn't be a stretchy material, but they are. Okay, yeah. They're not going anywhere. That's always good. That's nice. Ooh, 
Okay, okay, so here we have some hybrid. I think they're supposed to be like MMA purposed. The T3 hybrids, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a seven ounce glove. Let's go and put these bad boys on. So they have the dual strap, just like all Hayabusa gloves do. I used to use gloves like this all the time, but I didn't use them for like wrestling and other like stuff like that. These were the type of like karate sparring gloves that I wore because in karate sparring, you do grab a little bit, but also like you don't want to have the big thumpy things on because you're working on speed you don't have to like push you with the headgear these were the type of gloves that i would wear more so during sparring and they fit great they have more like the finger curvature that you see in like the mma gloves and you see in the actually even the karate gloves so that's interesting these are like dual purpose where these could be like good karate sparring gloves i don't like the plastic ones that a lot of places have so everybody knows of like those plastic with a little foam inside gloves that karate people used to use i think that there should be a transition into these these are pretty soft on the end they're not going to do too much damage to somebody karate guys know how to control their power anyway i think these might be the go-to so as you can see on these things are beautiful the wrist support it feels pretty good. It's not quite as good as the T3s, but I don't think it's designed to. Like you wanna be able to have some sort of flexion in your wrists when it comes to like MMA stuff and grabbing stuff. Um, hitting, it feels sharp. It feels really good. I usually don't hit with wraps on anyway. Um, not really my preference. Not feeling a lot in the knuckles. Like one of my big tests that I usually do when it comes to glove is can I feel my knuckle hitting the bag and the reason I'm using this one instead of these big old softies is because I want to be able to like feel the hardness of the bag itself golly they feel great I love them one of the important things about hybrid gloves is that you need to be able to pick stuff up so yep okay that works very grabby. Perfect. Next thing. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. It's uh oh. I don't deserve to be in its presence. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I guess this might be what I need the white belt for. That makes a lot of sense. This would make sense if I use this as like a, maybe like a preview is, or a teaser maybe of uh, of some videos to come. Hmm. Now nah, that probably wouldn't work. You guys wouldn't get it. This is the high boost of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu lightweight gi, and let me tell you, this thing is beautiful. Oh, the knitting in it. I'm not a huge like decal logo guy. Like I like very minimalistic looks. Like a little something in the corner, something small on the chest. Like I don't want the whole thing covered up, like a racing car, you know? This is perfect for my like taste, you know? Man, this is just beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna look so pretty. I'm gonna be the belle of the ball. Oh. <laughs> I should have warmed up. Do I look like I'm do I look like I'm about to wrestle you? Come here, give me give me your wrestles. Give me give me all your wrestles! I don't really know how to pressure test these, to be honest. Um I guess I could could I like Come here! Get get up get up in my guard! <laughs> Come here! I'm okay. No, I, I, and, and I'm just joking. I've rolled a decent amount. I'm definitely a white belt, 100%. There's a reason that I got the white belt. Overall, I love the look of it. Super simplistic, feels great. Moving around. Oh, look at that. That was, a, that was an arm drag. Did you see that? Watch this. I'm like, and now I've got the back. That's important. So for this one, obviously there wasn't but so much I could do with it, right? Like I don't have anybody I could roll around with. Like when I pull on it, it doesn't come off. You know, feels good. You know, for right now, I just wanted to see how it felt, see how it looked. When stuff has this much detail, usually it'll have like a loose, loose little thread or two. I don't see anything here. The attention to detail is phenomenal. And yeah, I just kind of want to give you guys a look of, of how it looked, you know? You know, give you guys a little sense of it. You know, how do I, does it look good? Yeah? Touch it. I'm not going.
I, I can't even put words to how excited I am about these. <sighs> oh my god. Man. That I mean I don't uh, just let's just look at it for a couple seconds. I don't I don't have to say much. Just look at it for like a couple oh my god. I can't. You look at them. These are the T3 All Leathers. The T3 LX boxing glove. And let me tell you what, like I just I just feel cool. When I punch somebody in the head with these, they're gonna be like nuzzling it. <laughs> mm, dang. Thanks. Thanks for that punch. We've done a review on the regular T3s before in the past, and we talked about this. This is my favorite thing about the T3 gloves. Ready? I'm trying to bend my wrist backwards. Like what happens when you punch something and it goes like this. Ready? It's like super impossible, one, because of the double wrist straps, which has the same thing for the hybrid gloves, but two, because of this backing here, like this foam piece right here is super thick and it does a great job of holding in place. And my other T3s have already held up so well too, and I put them through a lot. My other T3s were already in great shape, so I mean, uh, is this what having a child feels like? 100% full grain leather, high boost of T3 LX. Let's take a look at them in the shop. No knuckle. That's great. I was a little bit worried because they do look like they're designed more for looks, but I tell you what, they feel so good. They feel really, really good. Oh, and they just look so slick. Again, no bend in the wrist. It really gives you a tool to like be able to smack this thing and use full power without having to worry about the knuckle. If you like what you saw here today, you can get any of these pieces of gear at HayabusaFight.com slash Sensei And while they didn't pay me to make this video, Anything that you buy through this link does help support this channel, and it gets you some sick, sick gear. So hop on over to HayabusaFight.com slash SenseiSeth to get your super dope, punchy, kicky gear. And there you have it. That's the entire haul. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the review. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. You just wait. Uh, if you want to see the review the more in-depth review on this and the boxing gloves make sure you turn on the notifications so you can get that notification when that video comes out as soon as i get that foot i'm gonna get a toe collar on you bro it's gonna be nuts subscribe or i'll submit you